Hi everyone. Hey guys, Tanya here. Welcome to the channel. And in today's video, I'm just going to demonstrate how I constructed this snack basket for a Valentine's Day gift basket. I don't know if you guys have seen these, these little popcorn buckets bins at Dollar Tree. So I got one of these. They're so nice. You can just use them for anything. And and to have something like for the guys, you know, I just thought of making a snack basket for the men. So all I did, I just took some mailing paper, like craft paper, stuffed it in here, you know, to give it a foundation. And I built it up, up to about an inch here. And I put some uh, tissue paper on top of that. So that is our base. And then I took and I, I look for things that have different heights. So I wanted a big something to you know, give it some prominence. So I started with this popcorn bag, okay? Cause it's tall. And all I did, I just took my tape and I taped it. First, no, yeah, first I just taped it to, to you know, to the, I'm trying to see, is that how I did that? Yes. I'll start working sometimes and forget to show you guys. So first, just I just started there. What you can really do, I think what I really did at the end of this, just lay down the, the popcorn bag like this and taped everything to it. Yes, that's how I did that. Okay, so I taped everything, or used some glue dots, taped everything to the bag here. Okay, I have I have pre-made popcorn, one bag of microwave popcorn, some Twizzlers here, some dots. This is a a man's gift basket movie night got some dots some raisinets and to add some additional um valentine's day decor box of valentine's day chocolates and so and i take all of that together then i put it on the bucket here okay and then i took my tape and then just went around to secure it more. Can you see how this thing is? So once you you do this, you don't you don't want to undo them. And so I just made sure I just took my transparent tape. Okay. And went all the way around tightly. Make sure it's very tight. And all the way around. Okay, so it's very secure. secure that is right, and then I take down some of the, the top of this bag I folded it over okay it's kind of leaning it's like the more you mess with the stuff the worse it gets I had it perfectly okay so Step one. Okay, so I want a balloon on this. Oh, and then like, so once I did that, to fill in any gaps and to make sure things are, you know, snug, I put some red shred, paper shred, crinkle shred in here okay you don't need a lot of shred i don't buy it in bulk because you know I, I might do for each holiday i might do up to a hundred hundred videos i mean a hundred of baskets that's it and for full safety reasons i normally i i stick to 
if I'm gonna do a food basket, that's all I'm gonna do. You know, cause if you mix food with candles and heavily scented perfumes and soaps and stuff, it will taint the food. And so that's not a good food safety practice. So I'm gonna do food, I'm gonna do food. And I mean, it's okay, you have to, like if you have some candy, you wanna put it in like with utensils. Like if you have a, uh, if you're doing a manicure set and everything's like, or makeup brushes and, and stuff like that, you can go and put some candy in there. If you, like for Easter, if you're doing toys and like little coloring books and stuff like that, or maybe, maybe I don't know about the crayons with the food, but you know, if you're doing, you know, stuff, but it's just about the, the fragrances. You putting soap detergent and soaps and stuff, and then you're gonna put some food in there. That, no, that, that's enough. I mean, that's, you know, as a former caterer, you know, that that's a violation of food safety. But, you know, as your own business owns, you know, your own business, you know, you make the call. But just be mindful of stuff like that. You know, you just can't put anything together in these baskets and people gotta consume it. Okay, so now I just put it in my cello bag. Now I like it cushy because I like as much cushion as my packages can get. This is the presentation side. Take some tape here. Pull these sides together. careful not to crush the contents. All right, so this is good. This is good if you're taking it to your, your table, you're loading and unloading, it's good. But you don't wanna just do that. You don't wanna. my bow and all of this came from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree is a great resource for basket makers. It's a great resource. I mean it's like and, and there's one up the street from me so I get a lot from there 
You know, I very I stop at the one up the street from me, and I very seldom have to go anywhere else. So, and it's a great resource. Everything is on trend in season, and that's what we want. to accessorize my baskets. Like I said, I'm not doing like a big mass, you know, if I'm doing thousands, definitely go wholesale. But for what I do, it's very niche oriented. I have a clientele. I try to get them the, like if I do, but, but I do high quality, um, like if I'm doing a doing a bag with uh, self-care items, I get the best self-care items. And then I accessorize with uh, items I can get, you know, affordably. Not everything makes the cut. But I've tried almost everything I see coming into Dollar Tree and to accessorize my baskets, you know, it's a good deal. I was mad when they went up because it felt like they were the only company around that was really, really thinking about the everyday person. We got cute things, but you know, it's still when you look at things out there now, they're still the best deal. I don't want them to go up anymore. Okay, so just turn that. Put our my posh bow on there. Let's see, do I want a balloon? Sealed. I sealed the top with the tape so I won't be able to stick that in, but you can definitely stick that balloon on there like I just tape it on there. You know, I do things two ways. I might include a balloon and just, you know, go on and adjust the price accordingly or you know like do you would you like to buy a balloon separately would you like to you like this yeah that's cute you know yeah would you like a balloon with that but in this case we're just going we're going to take the balloon to the bag Tape it to the bag. Okay. And it's all good. And this, let me straighten up the bow. Your hubby, boyfriend, son, whoever, they get a cute little something, something. Then if you want have a little card, if you're gonna do that, and, and have there, if you're gonna give them cologne, have the cologne on the side. You know, just get a little gift bag, have the cologne in there, a little gift bag, so they have two things to open and it won't contaminate the food. Same thing with the guys. You're gonna give your girl a little purse or something, gonna have that wrapped up get some candy have your candy on the side we're all good okay that's cute and then you know, just make it perfect 
Put your branding on there. Put your price tag on there. And that's neat. So this is $25, $30. Not $25, probably. They won't question it either because it looks good. They, they, oh, yeah, I didn't have to do it. It's tall. It's big. All right, guys. So thank you so much. And that's how we do our Valentine's Day snack basket this year. Thank you so much. And if you like my vibe, hit subscribe and hit that like button so that for the algorithm, YouTube will say, you know, know that that someone is appreciating my content and they'll keep me on the air and I can keep bringing you ideas for how to uh, entertain and how to gift tastefully and posh and all that good stuff. All right, guys, thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye, Mom. I love Twizzlers. It's going to be hard for me not to eat Twizzlers.